Wheat School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Bayer Crop Science and CNMC. Bernard Tobin here for the Wheat School. I'm in Mount Elgin, Ontario today, catching up with Curtis Pilkington from Bear Crop Science. Curtis, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for having me, Bern. Awesome. Hey, uh, it is uh, T3 timing in winter wheat in Ontario. Um, I want to get into uh, you know risk assessment and a whole pile of things. But hey, first of all, when when growers are considering a T3, you know you know what do they need to think about? Yeah. So a few things. One, I'll mention the weather this season so far. We've kind of have this cold, we've had some warm, we've had a lot of wet. Um, and looking at the forecast for the next week or two, when we really get to the critical Fusarium head blight staging, we're in for a lot of wet, rainy weather, which is really what Fusarium head blight loves. Yeah. Um, so that's important to keep in mind when we're thinking about this T3 fungicide application. Remember, T3, primarily we're protecting the head against Fusarium head blight and dawn in your wheat. Also great opportunity to protect against leaf diseases. Um, it's a fantastic fungicide application to be considering to give the best protection for yeah. your winter wheat. When it comes to, to risk, what have you seen this year? You mentioned obviously the weather's up and down, but you know, uh, what's the situation with Fusarium? Yep, so I think we're, we're heading into potentially a high risk Fusarium scenario over the next little while, depending on where you are in Ontario. So important to keep that in mind. Um, and when we talk Fusarium head blight, and the risk were really about a specific timing. So the disease is going to infect those heads when those flowers have first come out, which is why when we're trying to apply, we have a pretty narrow window of application that we're trying to hit to protect those flowers that have just emerged. So if we look at this wheat here, uh, we're, we're just coming out of the boot. So we're, we're getting, I'd say we're about two days away from what we'd call day zero. Mm. So that's when the wheat is fully out of the boot and we need to start thinking and getting ready to apply that fungicide. Optimal timing um, is really going to be starting two days after that up to about five days. So when you first get those flowers in the middle of the wheat head until you get to about 50% through flowering. How long is that window now, uh, Curtis? So we, yeah. we go to seven, day, day eight? Yeah, so that's a great point. So optimal time is going to be that really three to four day window starting when they first flower but you're going to see benefits going up to seven even potentially eight days after application. If there's flowers still on the head, you're still having an impact and you're preventing, preventing uh, potential Fusarium head blight from infecting. Yeah. What about diseases? What diseases are you keeping an eye on? Yeah, so beyond Fusarium head blight and dawn, uh, T3 is a great time to manage for foliar diseases as well. So we've been seeing reports of stripe rust in the province, primarily around the Mitchell area is what I've seen so far. Unique thing about stripe rust this year is we think a little bit might have overwintered in the province under heavy snow cover. We don't usually see that. So Get out there, check your fields. If you have stripe rust, it's very important to be spraying a T3 fungicide. Yeah. Also been seeing some powdery mildew. Um, that's another disease that can be controlled quite easily with fungicides at T3 timing. Yeah. Talk about, uh, I guess, the benefits from a yield perspective, Curtis. Uh, Dr. David Hooker has done a lot of work at Ridgetown College, University of Guelph. Dr. Dave Hooker's found about 75% of the time, you're gonna see a 5.5 bushel yield advantage to applying a T3 fungicide. Um, in higher disease pressure scenarios, the average was eight bushels, uh, eight bushels per acre. And really beyond that protection against Fusarium head blight and yield loss there and the dawn, the quality risk that you're taking on if you don't spray, you also get that protection um, from those foliar diseases, right? So a lot of that, uh, that yield that's coming from the canopy, you're ensuring that's protected and improving your straw quality as well. One of the most important things with this T3 fungicide application is hitting the timing. And the only way you're really going to hit that properly is if you're out scouting your fields. The easiest way and kind of what I recommend is the, the key timing. Look for when 75% of the heads in the field are at 50% flowering. If you hit that, that's perfect. Um, that's the window that you should be trying to go for. Now, Curtis, we've got a nice day here today. Um, it has been wet and cold the yep. last week. Um, Maybe some, some drafty cool weather going ahead. Um, what are you telling growers about temperatures, nighttime temperatures, and watching the weather? Yeah, so Dawn's one of those diseases that, like most, really likes the humidity, but temperature-wise, it likes warmer temps in that 15 to 30 degrees, and really, the, the prime is 25 degrees Celsius. If it's, if it's around that temperature, disease will love it. Uh, looking at the forecast, we don't get super warm, and our nighttime temperatures get cool, at least for this weekend coming up. The disease can't really develop or stalls out if it gets below 9 degrees Celsius at night. So that might lessen our disease risks a little bit. 
but I'm a little concerned that the high moisture, lots of rain humidity is, is going to balance that out. Yeah. And, you know, we're going back to the window. I mean, like those later spray dates, I mean, with these new products, you get some, you know, they're, they're good and they do give you uh, that type of protection, maybe a little, little longer. Like, like mentioned before, we always want to hit that ideal two to four day window and you can extend it out to seven, eight. But you know what, guys have a lot of acres, sometimes the weather doesn't cooperate. What if you're pushing later? Um, there's been some research done down in the States that has found even as late as 11, 12, there is still some protection against dawn. Not gonna say that it's, it's something that you'd necessarily be happy with that level of control, but the fungicide will still be doing something. So if you're kept out of the field, know that first off, you'll still get a little bit of dawn protection by going later, and you'll still have some protection against those leaf diseases. Hey, let's wrap it up with uh, a little chat about fundamentals. Let's talk yes. about uh, spray application. Water volumes. Yep. High water volume is key. So minimum, I would say 15 gallons per acre. Push it up to 1820 if you can. Yeah. Droplet size. Coarse droplet is best. And really with water volume and droplets, the reason for this is we want to paint that head. We want to coat it with the fungicide. So ensuring we're high water volume and larger droplets allows that to happen. Mm. One of the problems, if you go to the medium or fine droplets, you kind of get a mist around the head instead of that splash or that droplet directly hitting the head yeah. and you don't really get the protection. What about uh, boom height and, and spraying in the wind? Always the, the, big, yeah. uh, the big question. Yeah, so try to keep your boom low. Of course, you gotta have 100% overlap between your nozzles, right? But try to keep it under 24, 25 inches above the canopy. Mm. More likely that you're actually gonna get it on the head. Wind is really important with T3 fungicide applications. Because we're using, we, of course, we want to be using these twin jet fans, right? We're spraying the back and the front of the head. Wind will interfere with that really easily and just blow it all to one side. So you want to keep your wind speed low, under 15 kilometers an hour. If you can, under 10, even better. Right. Well, Curtis, um, some great thoughts on T3 application and spraying. Appreciate you making some time yeah. for the Wheat School. Thank you very much. Well,